Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays European Universalis 4. Last episode, we got our ass handed to us by Rebels because we, we went through our first reform. We grabbed the expanded MITMA policy, so now we have access to colonists. They're really slow colonists, but they are colonists. So we're going to keep that guy there, try to grab this colony, finally have a coastal province, which I'm excited about. Uh, and <laughs> we had... Let's see, it was a 25 rebel regiments rise up. The first one we destroyed easily. The second one, the second army, I think we fought four times and they kept kicking my ass over and over and over again until we eventually just wore them down. And the third one took two battles. So it was, it, we, we just managed to pull out a victory in that civil war by the skin of our teeth because we ran out of men. Zero. We have zero manpower reserves right now. So as soon as this one finishes sieging down, we shall be done. And then we just have to wait for our manpower to recover. Economy's doing okay right now. We're just, when we reduce our, 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 our maintenance slider on our military, we'll have a little bit more money to work with. Let's merge those guys together. There's, I think, 12 regiments here. Yeah, 12. And so we're down 4,000 men right now. What we need to do is we need to start building some some forts. It's going to be difficult because I don't have a lot of money. But we are expanding our territory. Let's see, like down here is not going to be producing too much quite yet. Autonomy is kind of high. Yeah, it's, it's zero in these places. And down here it's pretty high. So these places aren't producing too much right now. Look at that, 41%. Oh, and good, we're done with our Civil War. Finished. Civil War, done. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that was ugly. Promising Trader. Ooh, we gained a Trader. And we can tech up... Oh, military again. So, ooh. So, uh, we're not going to be building these anytime soon, I don't think. But military tactics and morale, that is nice. Let's see, what do we got here? Plus 8, plus 5, plus 10. Is it... Are we focusing on that right now? No, just we have really good military skill. That's what's, what it's been doing. And the also, the only advisor we have right now is a military advisor. We're actually going to dec decline that for now. Let's see. Can we offer vassalization? They will take that. All right, good. So this guy is my vassal now. That is excellent. It's a vassal of Cusco. What about you guys? Released from peace, alliance, same religion. Let's not influence relations. Let's improve relations there. And what are we doing here? Let's improve relations here again. Try to get that back up. Trying to get some vassals going. That would be very, very beneficial for me. Well, this one I just want to... It's going to take 10 years now, but I'm going to try to... What's it called? Um, diplo annex them? Because right now I have too many diplomatic relations and I don't want to break off any of them. I mean, with the one I can afford to do the bet, probably these guys. I don't have a diplomat to send. And do we have a do we have a royal marriage there? No, it's just an alliance, and they're the ones who like me the least. I guess we could do that. Let's... Maybe buy six more. Okay, when this one finishes, it's not going to get that high. I'll dissolve that alliance to get rid of that, because I'm sick of paying for it. It's not really getting me anything right now. So we can get rid of that. I mean, we, we, we're we okay with each other. We're cool. I mean, they don't hate me, I don't hate them. Well, I guess we'll just... I mean, they'll, they'll dislike me a little bit more because of this, but... It won't be a big deal. Alright, and... Almost done. It, actually, it'll say recall as soon as it finishes this next tick, won't it? Or not. Alright, let's recall him. Dissolve Alliance. Yeah, that was... Was it negative 100? Neg okay, it, the 50... I think it was... Uh, it went down 100 because... Negative 50 for breaking alliance and the, the positive 50 went away for having alliance. Is it 50? Yeah. Alright, okay, that's good now. Alright, we're good. So let's... Let's build for the first time. 
can build an arm. Oh, we can build an armor if we want. But right now we have a mission to build a earthen rampart. So we're gonna do that in the capital. And that's all we can afford. <laughs> so let's let's save ourselves a little bit of money by dragging this down most of the way. Let's reduce our inflation by two ticks. It's too high right now. I hate having to spend admin power to do that. Especially because I really need to tech up admin. Production efficiency is what I'll get out of this. So that's a little bit more. Allows to support... Okay, allows support of rebels. That's not really anything right now. Ooh. The next one is going to get me... South of uh, American Mountain Warriors. It'll get me Reformed Mountain Warriors or South American Forest Warriors. Supply Limit, Combat. Well, that's a good one right there. Great Temple. The local chief in Quero has begun to construct an ambitious new temple for the main Hawka gods for his tribe. As this is often the case, it also happens to be mummified ancestors of our own lineage. While the chief seems content to acknowledge our authority, it is hard to shake the notion that he's attempted to build a bigger power base for himself. The priest of Inti strongly advocates that we remove the Waka and put his chief in his place. Our order the chief to turn over his Waka. National regiments rise up, but we gain some authority. Or we allow the temple to be built. Um. Want the autonomy change? No, let's just let it go. That was here. I mean, it's going to be basically zero now. I think it's not, not going to move at all, and it's already at zero. So it's going, yeah, it's going down faster than it's going up right now still. 0.15 each month. Okay, so that's going down. All right, these areas are all stable now. That's good. All right, where's our construction? Okay, so that'll be built in 150 days. I still only have 143 colonists here. So that's going to take forever. I forgot that, the, that you know, without any of the, the modifiers that the... The colonies would take forever to build. All right, these guys down here love me now. Oh, this is going. This is happening again. More expensive this time, though. Favorable answers. Nice. I have to decline that. Sorry. So they're not going to accept that. Uh, so their tax base is high. That's what they're going with. So is there? A, there's a tax base. Is it's an economic one, right? Um, let's see. Economic map mode. My economy kind of sucks. Two, two, three. Their tax base isn't that good. Four. That's a different country, though. Hmm. Well, they're not, they're not going to accept. At least I got this guy. And if I want to annex him, I have to wait 10 years. So that's August 29th of 1490. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck? That is a bunch of different guys. That's why that's there. Fortify Cusco. Nice. 30 manpower. Accumulate money. Incorporate that. Okay, our manpower and reserves need to recover. Incorporate them into my country or accumulate money. Let's go with this one is probably going to hit first, so we're going to go with that one. And we're just going to wait for it to go all the way up. Uh, the Empire of the Incas, what do we need for this? Okay, there's a bunch of provinces we need. Alright, I can do that. What was that other one? Introduce the vision quest. Nearly prestige, stability cost, mile. I need to have a theologian to do that. That's not a big deal. All right, how are we looking? Those are going to hit basically at about the same time. Promising trader. Can't really afford to have another... I, as much as I'd want... 1.4. That would pretty much take my entire economy. Is it worth it? I would have to... It's like 50% of my income right now. My income is awful. All right, how is my... This is... Which, uh, Lima... So I'm in the Lima trade node. And right now, Ichma. Man, my trade power is awful. 
Probably because I don't have any coastal provinces. We are co are we collecting here? Collecting a tiny little bit. What? He died? He was like 30. Seriously? Oh no, our heir died. That's what happened. And I was actually exactly right. He was exactly 30. So, I don't have any trade power down here, do I? Ichima. Oh no, I do have some trade power. I have more trade power over here than anything else. Let's just collect from trade here. Is that going to get me anything? It should, right? Let's see, zero, is that going to pop up at all? I know it usually says zero uh, as soon as you send them there. It usually goes up, though. There we go. All right, that's a little bit. Uh, no. Definitely not. I fucking hate you. I'm not going to give you military access. Although I could do a little bit more constructing if I wanted to. Manpower, local recruitment time. I feel like... Earth and Ramparts are cool, but manpower right now is the way to go. So let's get one of those going. Right now manpower is kind of more important to me. Getting the tax up in this place. Tax efficiency, 75% local. Yeah, local autonomy needs to, to needs to creep down. Hmm. So these guys, I have a truce with these guys. I'd like to overrun them. The truce is almost over. Let's fabricate a claim, because as soon as this truce is over, I'm going to take the rest of their land. There we go. All right, well, at least we have a li uh, our armies back up to strength, which is good. Now, what was preventing these guys? All right, you love me. That's fine. I, I enjoy that you love me. Okay. Um... So, they think they're, they're powerful. It's close. Friendly attitude... I mean, I could probably bribe them to accept facilization right now. Hmm. I mean, improving relations this is only going to get me so far. It's not. It's only going to get me a couple. I mean, if they liked me a little bit more, it m might fly. Because I really would like Ichima as a vassal right now. I really want their provinces. I want that coastal province right there. With a good base tax. I don't really care about this one as much, but this one right there I want. Lima. Okay, so... Is that capped out now? Yep, that's capped out. Let's recall him. Friendly attitude, trust, diplomatic reputation. Right now, their military power. Comes, so if I increase the, if I increase the size of my military again, they would. Let's let's try it. Let let's do this. Let's try it. And I don't really want to increase the size of my military, but relations improved. Uh, each must opinion of Kukso by plus thirty. Okay, that actually was really good for me. I uh, didn't change this at all. Friendly attitude is still the same. Let's see if increasing the size of my military will change. Because right now they think they're too strong for me. And their base tax is good. Because of, because of Lima. Le that base tax in Lima is awesome. It's really high. So let's increase the size of my military. Come on. and th Almost there. There we go. So, so that almost did it. 
very close. Now, let's see, do, 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 January 8th, so we need to wait till January 8th. I'm, I'm hoping that'll make them trust me more. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but it might. Well, it's still the same. Now, it actually went down. Just go military power compared to Ichima. God damn it, they really think they're powerful. It's so close, I'm only four points away. Oh well. Are you serious? Oh, god damn it. What is with these people? That sucked. Well, I lost I lost my heir at a very young age, then I lost my leader at a very young age as well. God, that sucked. I'm really unhappy about that. I was doing so good for a while, and now I'm in a Regency Council, which means I can't really do anything. He's 61. How old is my actual dude? Is it actually going to tell me anywhere? Well, at least we're creeping up on tech now. Hmm... Come on, guys, you know you like me. You know you love me. Oh, now I can fight these guys right now. Oh, let's go fight them. We have a decent-sized military. Okay, so let's crank this up. I'm glad that we can actually afford the, the military right now. Well, yeah, we're fine right there. Actually, let's put them right here. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm, I'm capped out on what I can handle right now. Capped out. So we're going to take out these guys. I'm going to grab some more land. They'll give me a border with these guys, which is good. I mean, they love me. Not going to accept that. Yeah, they're, they, they're way too happy. Happy with themselves. Maybe increasing my base tax by conquering more land will help with, with Lima. Oh, fuck, I can't declare war when I have a Regency Council. And this kid was just fucking born. He's only nine. Regency ends in 1491, so I've got five years to sit around and fucking do jack all. Ah, uh, that sucks. I can't believe he died. He was, what, 32 when he died? That sucks. Ugh, oh, God. And this is this is gonna take a lot this is seriously gonna take a lot longer than I expected. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at something. Well, first we don't need our military slider up right now because we're not gonna be able to declare war for a while. So we can drop that back down. Tech is almost there. We'll get that this episode at least. So to form Inca. Country changes Inca, Inca gain the title gains a uh, claim on the Andes, twenty five prestige, gain new traditions and ambitions. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. What was I going to do? And Okay, I was going to look at what I needed. So, uh, I, I thought there was one up here. I think it's this one right here. Owns core province, Kajamarka. Kajamarka, that one right there. I'm looking at the capital of this place. Uh, Huanco. Huanuko. Uh, where is that? Let's take a look around. I don't know if it's any of the ones that I'm going to need to... I don't think it's any of the... I'm probably not going to need any of the stuff down here. I think it's more up north. So let's see here. Not that one, not that one. Where are we? Where are we looking? I do not see it! Am I blind? Owns core province. Stop them. Um. Oh, it's, is it this one? 
No. I do not see it anywhere on the map. Am I blind or what? Oh, well, I guess we'll deal with that later. Right now, what I'm most interested in doing is increasing my tech. Which, unfortunately, is not going to be moving up as quickly as it... That used to be 10! Oh, God, that sucks. Suitable matches. Yeah, a little bit of unrest is no problem. Haven't even recovered from the last Civil War yet. We're already a third away to the next reform. Which one should we take next? Probably rec manpower recovery speed. Morale of armies. Morale might be good, though. 5% is not a lot, though. Although every little bit helps. Right, you know what we need to do is let's keep building some stuff. Alright, where's, where's the best place going to be right now? 25s? Looks like the 25s are going to be the best. And we can invest in new tech. Production efficiency is just going to get me a little tiny bit more money, probably. It just means that income from yeah from technology yeah, goes up 10% there. It helped a little bit. And the next one is finally an idea group. This isn't really going to do much for me. I don't have a navy. I'm not really trading much. Global settler increase, though, plus 15. That is something to look forward to, because right now the settlers are going to take ages, ages to get to a new colony. I can't believe I have to wait till 1491. That sucks. Trade efficiency. Don't have a navy, don't need a navy. Every little bit of manpower is going to help right now. Every little bit. I really want all this coastline is what I want. And I really, really want to know what they're actually going to produce here. I'm excited to figure out what these provinces are going to produce in terms of trade goods. What do we got here? 1459. Okay, one more month. Come on. Really excited to get the the next level of troops, though. That is going to be huge, huge boon for me. Settler growth, yes. So now if we go here... Yes, now... Okay, that went from 10 to 25. Yes, that's what I was looking for. It's a 150% increase for me. Still not super high, but at least it'll take less time now. Doc... Uh, that's not really going to do anything for me these days. Trade power, that'll help a little bit. Trade range, that'll help a little bit. This is going to be a huge one right down here for me. The South American Spearmen, or the... Yeah, the so South American Forest Warriors. That's going to be a huge, huge boon for me. So let's see. Let's look at our, our rivals. Two. I'm looking at their tech levels. Three. Two. Some, well, some of them are at three. Most of them are at two. Alrighty. You know, I really... Oh, I lost... You know, that's why it's higher. I lost a, an advisor. Should we go admin? Let's see. Stability cost modifier. National unrest. Trying to follow... Let, let's find the best guy. Trade efficiency. Trade efficiency. Reinforce speed. Fort defense. Hmm. Five, six, six... So we're a little low on the military side right now, so we could go with military again. But right now, I think national unrest.